So on June 4th, we're going to enter phase two of our stay safe plan. It's going to allow outdoor dining at restaurants and bars and a measured reopening of salons, barber shops with limited capacity. June 1st, I'm sorry. Um, thank you for that. I misspoke. Um, we're going to have Steve and, and Commissioner uh, Malcolm do a little bit more on that on June 1st. Restaurants and bars, I just want to speak to all those folks. They're integral, not just to our economy. And we know now how many jobs they create. They're integral to the part of us that makes uh, living in Minnesota so great. They're the places where we had first dates. They're the places where we celebrate our anniversaries. They're the places where we gather together on special moments. Um, and they make life just a little bit better. And so um, that industry has been hurting amongst all others. Commissioner Grove will talk to you about that. They're fixtures for us. The virus won't allow business as usual, but I think it's going to do our best after a Minnesota winter to get out and be able to enjoy these things. Steve will talk about some of the specifics around that. So it's the local brewery or Juicy Lucy or a walleye dinner. Minnesotans are going to be able to get back out there, try and make sure we're, uh, we're supporting these local businesses. And while it's not perfect, it's safe and it's moving the dial. I also want to thank the salons and barber shops. Uh, I know Minnesotans, and I have to be candid, it's, it's certainly not a top priority for me because I'm a bit challenged in this area. Um, but this is a big area. This is a, these are a lot of small business owners. They're very successful. And once again, it's a part of what makes being human and life just a little bit better. People enjoy doing this. It's something that needs to be done. And these are a lot of entrepreneurs who knew that they were, uh, had to do the right thing and, and were not able to do their, uh, their trade. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do cautiously turn that dial back to normal. You'll need to make a reservation, wear a mask, wash your hands. Um, certainly don't go in there if you're sick. We are encouraging people to, uh, uh, at these uh, barber shops take temperatures of people if you have that capacity, but certainly there will be uh, protocols in place for social distancing capacity in them.